hey everyone in this video we'll add a vertical raycast like this to our environment scanner so this vertical raycast will be used to find the height of the obstacle in front of us so we'll call this raycast height raycast so the height raycast is important because we have to know the height of the obstacle in front of us to determine which parkour action we should perform right so let's implement this so let's do the height raycast from the obstacle check function so we should only do the height raycast if we found an obstacle from the forward raycast right so here i'll check if hit data dot forward hit found is true only then i'll do the height raycast okay so from here i'll use a physics dot raycast function for casting the height raycast so first we should pass the origin so the height raycast will go from a point above the forward hit point to the forward hit point okay so the origin will be a point above the forward hit point so here let me create a variable for the height origin all right so we can get the forward hit point from hit data dot forward hit dot point so this is the point at the obstacle that the raycast hit so the height origin will be at some point above the forward hit point so i'll add vector 3 dot up multiplied by let's say a value like 5 for now so the height origin will be 5 meters above the forward hit point okay so i don't want to hard code 5 over here so let me create a serialized field variable for that i'll actually name this variable height ray length okay because the length of the ray will be same as the offset that we are using here because our goal is to cast a ray from this point towards the forward hit point right so here we can use the height ray length as the offset okay and by the way i just made a typo over here so let me just fix it all right so in the first parameter of the ray cast let me pass the height origin okay so next we need to pass the direction of the ray so in this case the direction will be the downwards direction so we can use vector 3 dot down for the direction all right so next we need to pass the hit info just like we pass for the forward hit so let me actually define a hit info variable inside our obstacle hit data struct so let me just duplicate this and create another one called height hit okay and while we are here let me also create another boolean for the height hit found all right so now for the third parameter we can pass hit data dot height hit okay so next for the length we can pass height ray length and finally i'll pass the obstacle layer for the layer mask all right so this will do the height ray cast for us just like we do our forward ray cast and i also want to store the return value of this function in hit data dot height hit found okay and finally just like we do for the forward ray i also want to draw the ray so that we can visualize it so let me just copy this debug dot draw ray function and paste it over here okay so in this case i'll change the forward origin to height origin the direction will be vector 3 
dot down multiplied by the height ray length all right and finally if the hit data dot height hit is found then we'll make the color of the ray red otherwise we'll make it white okay so let's go to unity and test this so by default we are only casting the forward ray but if i go ahead and stand in front of an obstacle it will also cast the height ray like this all right so the hit data that we get from the height ray is really important it will actually give us the height of the obstacle in front of us all right so we have completed our environment scanner so next we should use the data from the environment scanner and we should perform parkour actions based on that from the parkour controller so we'll be doing that in the next video